what is up guys we are going to start this off with playing Rygar as our first let's play as you can see there's no fancy intro just Rygar start made by Tecmo same people who made Tecmo Super Bowl and other awesome games like that I know in my last video I said I really didn't like sports games but I forgot about Tecmo Super Bowl that was actually a really cool game so Rygar actually is based off uh, from what I can remember I believe Rygar is like a fallen hero uh, that was resurrected brought back to life and is going after the evil monster uh, I think Ligar and you are it's based off of uh, out of the country Argul I believe and it sounds so much like Raz Al Ghul anyway so um, anyway you're brought back to life to apparently just save the world and all this other shit so not really much storyline into it then again a whole lot of Nintendo games really didn't have a lot of story it's more of just like a basic hey go do all this stuff because we told you to. So a lot of you know a lot of role playing games are pretty simple. Uh, as far as you level up, you get attack experience, uh, defense that goes up, things like that. On here you have mind, which is magic that you collect from killing monsters, and you can power up your weapon one time, which just makes it longer. Then there's last, and that pretty much just gives you more life bars, light, or I like to call them life pellets. Um, so mine right now is 11. Once it hits 48, my life bar goes up one. Once it doubles and goes to 96, it goes up another one, and so on and so forth. Tone, on the other hand, is your offensive power. That's how much um, the higher your tone is, the more damage you do to monsters. So killing smaller monsters really doesn't give you a lot. You have to kill more of a little bit of the higher end monsters just to even raise up your tone. And it doesn't even tell you when you level up. You just all of a sudden start doing uh, more damage, and it, so it's kind of cool. Anyway, so I'll quit talking about the intro and everything, and we'll just kind of go ahead and just get into the Let's Play and have fun and be stupid and silly. So, here we go. Ooh -ho. Now that... What the fuck was that? So if you have a dick itch, come to the rope. <laughs> oh, move right along, climb up the rope, because my dick itches. Then you jump in the door, and then you see this dirty dick geriatric bald fuck oh he's wearing super paint pants that's the other issue with this game a lot of the a lot of the clues and things that people tell you like make no sense whatsoever in the Grand Mountain lies the entrance to Garlaws well where the fuck is Garlaws where's the Grand Mountain you'll never know you pretty much just roam around but, I mean, luckily the game's pretty small, so roam around enough and you'll find out where you're going. It'd be nice if there were signs around here say, hey, you've just reached Garlaws or the Big Fucking Mountain, and hey, watch out for weird bird people with little pecker feet. I don't know. Ah, roly poly. I'm going to stab you in your ear canal, you fuck, you pecker fuck. I'm going to stab you in your ear canal. Ooh, a door. <laughs> Look at that guy. You'll go to Bangkok Palace, Dr. Jones, and retrieve the chakra stone. Just kidding, you're supposed to go find Garlaws. Let's go find us a Garlaws. Could it be up here? Good, my dick itches. Uh, <clears throat> better. I don't know why, but on games like this, even Simon's Quest, you just can't help but jump everywhere. I don't know why. It doesn't, like, it doesn't make you go any faster. Ooh, what's in here? What's in the closet? Okay, so we go west. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! Woo, shit! Ooh, the grappling weapon. And we're back again. I'm about to die. Later you'll get the pulley to go across these, and these little things are dangerous as shit. <laughs> they can't give him a face or a shirt, but they can animate his buttocks. <laughs> Seriously, check it out. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Okay. Sorry about that, let's move right along. Yeah. I like that boulder. That is a nice boulder. 
Looks so real. So the way to gain experience pretty much and make your weapon stronger obviously is just to kill more and more people and as you can tell, let me kill this, okay, we'll just hit pause. So my tone is 35, so you kill like some of the smaller creatures and shit like that, it's not going to raise your tone, but the stronger creatures that you kill raises it up higher. Ooh, there's magic thing in my bobber. Good, because my weapon sucks. I need a long weapon. Mm, 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 mm. See, it was 35 before, it's up to 37. It levels up slow as shit in the beginning, but there's a monster later in the game that you can grind and holy shit you'll go from being a little puskins to Billy badass in like 20 minutes and I think the last boss will only take a few hits Woohoo! it's funny they look so intimidating whenever they come out of the water they're like oh, I'm going to kill you then they're like <laughs> their mouth open. We're gonna get you. Ooh, in the face. Ooh, knife. I need to refill my life meter. Oh, never mind. Well, that was a waste of fucking life pellet. Ooh. This guy. I don't know if he's like a little bat or a devil. Refill my health. No? Above here in the skies of Rolsta is a floating castle. Okay. Hey guys. Uh, uh, just flapping around. Can I play in the band? Hey. Uh. Jump. Jump. Refill my health. From here, you can't go on without the grappling weapon. Well, look what I got. Ugh. Oh, dick itch on the way down. No, you cannot be in the band. Get away. Ooh. Yes. Bloop, bloop. Power up. See, it doesn't even tell you when you level up. It's just all of a sudden things take less hits. Oh, shit, shit. Oh, he tricky. He's supposed to go the other way. Oh, shit! Oh, that was close. Now, this music's straight up stoner music, but that's one thing about Rygar. Like, their music was. It gets stuck in your head. It's so weird. There's one here where these weird ass little dragons with big saggy asses drop these eggs that break on your face. But for some reason, like. The music seriously just makes you want to bob around the room. When we get to that one, I'll show you. Mm, die! Give me life! Oh, I'm nowhere near. Mm, recover! I'm nowhere near that. So, anyways, what I was saying earlier, one of the cool things about console classics also... Uh, actually, I wasn't saying it earlier, but I'll say it for the first time. You can hit F... Oh, I got little small disc armor thingy. Mm, mm, I need a big disc. Give me a big disc. Okay, sorry, my ADD kicking in. So you hit F5, and that automatically saves your spot wherever you're at. So say so you hit F5 right now, you jump down. Oh no! Oh, I can't, I can't even forcefully kill myself. Oh no! Then you hit F7. Oh look, I'm back here. Oh. Oh yeah. So scorpion guy. Oh well, you saw the glitch. There he is. He's still there. Hey. And now he's gone. Which is really handy. Those guys are a pain in the ass. Hey, I still want to be in the band, guys. Mm. No. <laughs> What's in here? A monster aruga lives deep within the forest. Okay. He lives so deep in here. Super deep. Ooh, power up. Power up. Power up to my big disc. Jump. Uh. Woo -hoo -hoo, scorpion. Woo, shit. I can't do the glitch. Ooh. 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 Oh, 
that sucks. Hit you in the face. Uh, is this Aruga? Oh, it is. I got no light. Oh, uh, that's stupid. Stupid Aruga! Aruga! Oh, but look. Ha! Always hit F5. Come here, Aruga. Aruga, Jamaica. Ooh, I wanna take you. Aw, oh, dead. Ha! Ah, let's hit F5 here. What was I saying? Aruga, Jamaica. Ooh, I wanna take you to my disc armor. I'm gonna put it in your face. Oh, shit! Oh, I suck at this game. Eee. I don't know what that sound is. I guess that's him growling. Oh, shit! See, F5 and F7 saves you. I'm F5ing here. Ha! I bounce off your turtle head. Dead. Try it again. Those are weird ass fireballs too. They're like hot fries or something. Die already. <laughs> oh! oh, that's pretty sweet. It's fucking tits. I have to just auto save every time I hit him a few times. Oh, that was probably not a good thing. Woo! Ah, I panicked. All right, see, you also have to be careful where you hit F five. Not always a good idea. Oh shit! Ah! This message brought to you by Spooky on Things, what not to do. Whoa. That was weird. Quit it. Now would be a good time for you to stop. Fucked up. Ooh, sweet. I'm here with. Yeah, I just had to start over because I, uh, I auto saved at a very bad spot. Mmm, hit you in your face. On you hot fry Aruga Jamaica fuck mm. my voice is cracking it's some good these allergies oh this allergy stuff Ooh, hoo, 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 I beat it uh, uh, victory dance victory dance I'm so happy I should climb down but I can't so I'll do that I'll give you a pulley you must use to cross you can cross all kinds of things like you can cross boundaries you can cross the streams you can cross my mom. I can cross my legs and my arms. Anyways, I'm going to cut off of this video right here uh, after I just beat a woo woo. Like, it took me like fucking forever and it really shouldn't have, but I've been up forever. I've already worked 3 to 11 today and I'm tired. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning. So, yeah, I will come back and do more Let's Plays and I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. See you in the next one. Happy gaming.